Hello, hello everybody, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel if you're not new, thank you for hitting that sub, ooh, ooh. if you're new my name is Ashley Shiro and this is pretty much how I act in my videos, and I'm sorry if it, actually I take that back, I'm not sorry at all, cause you clicked here and da 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 you clicked here, and this is who I am. So welcome to my channel. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hello. Hi. Now let's actually talk and not sing, you know. Let's just, like, get straight to it. Um, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not new here, okay, I appreciate you for hitting that sub because we have a goal to hit. We're trying to hit 1K because, baby, I'm trying to get this to be my main job, all right? I'm tired of, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of not being able to say that I'm a full-time content creator, but you know what? I'm not giving up. So here we are making yet another video. <laughs> um, yeah, so this video today is basically a long overdue video of my complete gaming setup. Um, a lot of you might not know, but I do stream video games on Twitch, primarily a game called Dead by Daylight. Um, I've been on Twitch for almost three years, and that's how long I've had this PC. I've had this PC for three years, um, and I freaking love it. I love it so freaking much. Um, it's basically how I'm able to edit my videos, the way that I'm able to edit it. Um, it's also just the way that I can stream. I do dual streaming as well. I do streaming on TikTok and Twitch at the same time, and I don't really run into any issues, um, thankfully. This was definitely a, oh, I had to pause for a second because I just th thought about the dollar signs and I was like, <sighs> okay, but that was three years ago. Here we are now. Okay, we made it. We made it. We survived it. Okay, but this was definitely an investment. Okay, like my PC cost, including everything. I'm just estimating here, but I'll put like the correct number on the screen, but a, probably about $3,300. Yeah, that's like a rough estimate though. I have two monitors, I have a mechanical keyboard. A stream deck which was a gift to me so thankfully that something that I did not have to pay for um, I have two webcams I have a ring light there's a big beast though the tower that's where you got them extra zeros and like you know but the, the main thing that it's oper that's operating all of this okay um, I also have gaming headphones what else? Also the gaming chair. So that's like all included in that price. The stream deck is subtracted because I did not have to pay for that, thankfully. Um, but everything else I did cover. Um, and I also didn't say my mouse, but yes, my mouse is also included in that. Um, yeah, so that... <laughs> oh, I got my throat dry, okay? But... It is so worth it, okay? I say, I'm, I'm being dramatic right now, but this PC is basically how I'm able to do my dual streams on TikTok and Twitch. I edit without a problem. I run multiple streams without a problem. And when I say run multiple streams, it's like I'll watch, you know, some of my favorite content creators stream their game while I'm editing. And then it renders really quickly. Like, I just... It's just very seamless, okay? So I have no regrets in this investment, but definitely take your time with it. Like, I personally didn't want to rush into just getting any PC. I really wanted to get a PC that was going to last me a long time. So I have my laptop here um, basically to go over the specs, and I definitely had help to build this pc i don't want to take any credit for it at all um my friend that i met through twitch um helped me figure out what i wanted in a pc and um i am so grateful for him i appreciate him for taking the time to just really just sit on i buy power and be like okay you want this you want that blah 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 so let's go ahead and get into the specifics and the little nitty gritty okay like let's uh let's speak tech now because I think that's what most of y'all are here for. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna start off with my two monitors. Um, I have one monitor as my primary like screen, which is like the one I 
game on um and i also edit on it because it just looks better to edit because when i switch over adobe to the other monitor it's just like you know it's just very different it's not the same so then the other monitor i didn't really care too much about the hertz and i just was like i just need to have at least two monitors and one for gaming one to have like the twitch chat the tiktok chat um or just like when i'm editing i also have a stream up or something just to keep me entertained sometimes because i'm like going through the vod and i'm like oh my god i already know what's gonna happen because i lived it i i am the person that i'm watching or i'm editing a youtube video and i'm like okay i just need to have you know my eyes set on something else or maybe i need to have a, a podcast on or something so two monitors was very important for me so my primary monitor is a Samsung Odyssey G5 series, um, a 27 inch. It is a curved screen, 144 hertz, and a one millisecond response time. The maximum display resolution is 2560 by 1440 pixels. I absolutely love this monitor. I know that they have more updated ones. I did get this PC three years ago, so um, maybe one day in the future I'll think about upgrading, but I'm very happy with this monitor. Um, if I do upgrade, I will most likely keep this monitor as a secondary monitor and switch out the other monitor that I have. The second monitor that I have that I use for like Twitch chat and everything is an MSI Optics G241V gaming monitor, 75 hertz, four millisecond response time. Um, definitely, like I said, that this is just a monitor that I just have as a secondary monitor. So the response time is pretty slower, um, and it's almost basically half of what the gaming monitor does, but it works for what I need it to. The main ring light that I use, I reflect it against the wall. I used to not do that. I used to like have it in my face. And then I learned that other content creators also just turn their ring light on and they can have it at a more like higher like at a higher setting and that was a game changer for me because I wouldn't be able to stream for a long time because I'm like my eyes hurt and it's just it it was just really bad and that was like the first year of me streaming and then I learned that other content creators were doing that and I was like what hello I want to do that too so the ring light that I have um, that I reflect against the wall is a sun pack LED 448 19 inch bicolor ring light um, it was something I got from Best Buy. It was just like, I didn't really do any research on it. I just knew that I needed to go to a Best Buy and pick it up because at the time I was staying with my sister for some months and I was like, the lighting in this room, is not working for me. So I need a quick fix. And this is what I got. And I've had it for a long time. And I really, I think the main thing that I will say about this is the reviews are correct. Like the stand is not really built to carry the weight of the ring light, which I just didn't look at any reviews when I bought it. And then I was like, why well, won't it stay up? Like what's going on? And then I looked at the reviews after I bought it and I was like, ah, that's, that's what's going on. But I have kept it. I've kept it since I've had it for two years. I think it does a good job of lighting. That's just like my only complaint about it. All right, so basically my keyboard is not really anything special, I will say. It's uh, I buy power brand. It's a mechanical keyboard. It's the MEK3 RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. It lights up. It's It does its job. I, I don't know. I've had it for a while. It's a keyboard, you know, nothing really special to say about it. Um, maybe I'll upgrade some stuff, but right now I just really don't care to upgrade. I'm just like, look, all of these things are working. I've even like spilled multiple coffees and matchas on this keyboard and, you know, I took all the keys off, wiped it down, still fine. Okay. I, listen, if you watch those streams where I have spilled coffee all over, you know, you know that I needed to keep my coffee in a certain spot. And I learned my lesson now. So we are past that. We've grown since then. And I can't promise that there won't be any more coffee spills on the keyboard. But you better believe the keyboard is still fine and still doing what it needs to do. I do have an Elgato Stream Deck. And that, I freaking love it. I did not have a Stream Deck for maybe a year and a half of me streaming. Um, I just basically clicked over to my second monitor and just switched 
scenes that way or whatever i can't now i can't even remember but i'm pretty sure that that's what i did um because you can't really click anything when you're in the game you have to tap out so i think the elgato stream deck was a game changer for me um uh, i love how you can customize it you can basically do different fonts you can make folders so that you can have even more buttons um I just love like the quick shortcuts that you can have while you're streaming. So you can basically customize things so that when you're streaming, you can um, do a message in the chat. But like, it's just so many things that you can do with the stream deck that I highly recommend. Um, you got to get it. You got to get it. This is not sponsored, but maybe one day it's going to be sponsored. OK, but for now, I'm just saying as somebody who is an avid Elgato Stream Deck user that you should get it. Also, the mic that I'm currently speaking to you on is an Elgato Wave 3 mic. Freaking love this mic. I'm just listen, Elgato, you watching this video? I'm a small time girl. All right. Come on. You see me? You see me? I'm growing, okay, Elgato? And I'm shouting you out because I do actually love your products. So, yeah, um, <laughs> had to, you know, I had to, listen, you got to get to coin any kind of way you can, right? Like, you got to, you got to let it, you got to let it be known. Um, but, yeah, the mic that I'm currently talking to you on is an Elgato Wave 3 mic. Love it so much. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what else to say about it. Just know that you plug it in. It's, it has its own software too, so you can tweak it. Just, okay, boom. Um, I also have a boom arm that I basically got from Amazon. I don't even really remember <laughs> the brand and I probably should have had that up, but I just got a random boom arm and I'll go ahead and put it on here. So I think that we can just bypass, but the boom arm, love it, does what it needs to do, solid. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the two webcams that I use. I use two webcams. One is a webcam for TikTok and the other one is a webcam for Twitch. Um, I also kind of found it helpful if you want to have different angles um, for your stream, you can also do it that way too. So there's just like a lot you can do with having more than one webcam. Um, the one that I use for TikTok is an Allura Tech. It is so good, I love it. Um, I think it's just super clear on TikTok. So I have my ring light on this side and my webcams are usually on this side. So having the ring light attached to those cameras are super helpful because sometimes it's just super like dark on this side. And this is kind of how I have the lining. Usually I have um, a Alexa light to basically illuminate my space and I can change the color. And this is usually how I have it, but this is always dark. So having a ring light attached to those webcams are super helpful. But the other webcam that I have, and I mainly use this one for Twitch, is a Razer Keo. Um, which one is it? Who freaking knows? I don't know where that went. There it is. <laughs> the other one that I use is a Razer Keo. Um, it's a 1080p, 30 frames per second. Um, it could also go to 720p, uh, 60 frames per second. I really do like this cam, but I run into this issue quite often when I'm starting up my um, Streamlabs and it's overexposed. So I always have to go in the camera settings and basically like, like uncheck auto for exposure and check it and just like play around with that because sometimes it's just so it's just it's literally just so dark when I first start Streamlabs and I don't know why it does that I have no clue at all um, I even like googled it and other people had that problem and I don't know if it's um it seems like it's like a a razor issue that is something that I just want to be super transparent about that when I do load up Streamlabs I do have that issue um, but with Allura Tech when I open up my TikTok studio I don't really have any issues I don't have to play with the exposure it's basically the way that I left it so that's just something to keep in mind if you're thinking about getting the razor Keo. I don't plan on changing it I think maybe I will get a different one at some point maybe get a second Allura Tech because I do really love the Allura Tech and then just having you know one alert attack for TikTok and one alert attack for Twitch, but I think I've invested enough right now and I'm just, I'm not making those plans right now. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just keep unchecking that box and checking that box for the exposure and let it be. And then for the mouse, it's a Corsair Harpoon RGB Pro. 
um, gaming mouse. I like it a lot. Don't have any issues with it. And I've had it for three years, basically, since it came with the PC. I buy power, you know, you basically got to choose these things for an upcharge. And um, we, my friend chose a Corsair for me. All right, on to the big bad boy, okay? She is thick and she is beautiful. And I know that this is what y'all have been waiting for. Y'all like, okay, yeah, 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 monitors, okay, kick, webcam, mm -hmm, ring light, stream deck, mechanical keyboard, click, click, click. Okay, Ashley, get to the computer tower. Here we are. We have arrived to the anticipated, beautiful, lovely PC tower. Oh! Oh, she's so good to me. She's so good to me, man. Okay, I'm not going to go into every single detail, okay? I will link that stuff in the description or not really link it. Let me not lie to y'all. I'm not about to link and find out where you can buy it. I will put it in the description and I will list it. And then you do with it what you may, okay? The video card is an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. 8 gigabytes. Um, I freaking love it. I I don't really know how I can describe how much I love it, but my gaming runs smoothly. I love the way it looks on my monitor, my primary monitor, and it just it just does what I need it to do. And it just makes me so happy to be like boom boom boom. Well, I'm about to run this game smoothly. Um, I primarily stream Dead by Daylight, but I do also play Apex off stream because I'm not the best at Apex. But shout out to my duo partner for like still loving me through and through, okay? Because I'm not the best at Apex at all. But I'll be vibing, okay? And Apex runs so smoothly with that video card. I'll be like, dang, I can see Bangalore. I can see the hair, the curls, everything. You know, I'm not a Bangalore main, but like I'm kind of... I don't know what I am, honestly. I'm just playing around with the characters. So I primarily play Bangalore and Horizon because I just kind of, not recently, it's been a while since I've discovered that I like Horizon, but I haven't played Apex in a hot little minute. But when I do get on, I usually go for Bangalore or Horizon. And let me tell you that NVIDIA, the graphics on Apex, I'd be like, oh my God, I could just be here all day. But then I'm not here all day because... I'm not the best Apex. So anyways, <laughs> um, that is the graphics card. The memory is a 16 gigabyte um, DDR4 3200 memory module. Um, I believe that this is an iBuyPower brand. Uh, a lot of this is just the brand is um, iBuyPower. So that's the memory card. The RAM, or you know, also known as the processor, is an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X processor. I really don't run into any issues. The rendering is pretty fast. Having multiple applications up, just very, very smooth. And I'm very, very grateful that um, I took my time with this and I invested in this because I really feel like I'm pretty set for the future. And then the storage. So the primary hard drive is a 500 gigabyte WD Blue SN 550. And then the secondary hard drive is a two terabyte Seagate hard drive, 7,200 RPM. I also have the external hard drive and I don't really run into like any issues of not having enough space. And it's mainly because of the external hard drive. I know if I didn't have that, then these VODs, these Twitch VODs, and also like trying to get high quality YouTube videos, they will eat that storage up. So definitely recommend getting an external hard drive if you do not already have one. Okay, so those are the three main things that I wanted to touch on in the video, basically about the tower. Um, I'll quickly say what the motherboard is. The motherboard is the Asus Prime X570P ARGB header, okay? USB 3.2 ports, M2 slot. Listen, I don't even know what that means. I'm not even gonna sit here and tell you. I don't know what any of that means, but I know what I have already talked about because I knew that I wanted that NVIDIA GE Force RTX, all right? Like, that's my baby. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's basically everything. Um, if I miss anything, I'll go ahead and, like I said, go into even more specs for my PC, my gaming setup, and um, hope that this was helpful for you. I really do hope that you kind of have an idea of what you want. I freaking love my PC. I love my gaming setup. I just, I'm just so grateful to have even 
been able to invest in something like this. I do recommend like if you're in a rush to get a PC, I just I just really think it's worth saving like the 600 to 700 dollars that you want to just rush and get a pc for i read i just think it's just worth the wait of like putting that 600 700 dollars to the side and waiting six months seven months however long it takes you to gain the rest because you will be so happy gaming you will be so happy content creating you will be so happy just like even if you're not a content creator or a gamer like you just whatever you want out of your PC, I think that is really worth the wait and the time to just get the PC that you actually want. I think temporary solutions work for some, so I'm not here to tell you how to run your life and like what to do with your money, but I just think that this was something that worked for me of just waiting and sitting on that 600 700 even though i really wanted a pc even though i really wanted to start streaming immediately and yes i had a ps4 and i could have streamed but i was like i really don't want to stream from my ps4 just on my tv monitor i want to wait and i did and i started streaming in march of 2021 with this pc and i have been streaming on this ever since and I freaking love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Like, in fact, I'm actually about to eat and then I'm going to get on stream in an hour and a half from making this video. And I am excited to know that this PC is going to do everything that I need it to do for that stream. So, yeah, that's just my little two cents. That's basically it for this gaming setup. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. And don't forget to sub and go ahead and like and thumbs up this video. It will help. Those are just two free ways to support me in this content creating journey. Um, I appreciate you for sticking it out all the way to the end. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Goodbye. I'm going to see you in my next video. Goodbye. 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 Oh, oh, oh. I'm about to play some games and eat some food. And it's about to be so good. So good.